What's up guys? Welcome to NMD TV All Canes. Listen, YouTube has been tripping. YouTube has been deleting people's accounts, suspending them for any little thing. So I got to stay one step ahead. This is my backup channel, guys. So I need you to subscribe to this channel. On this channel, I will be uploading nothing but Miami Hurricanes stuff, Miami Hurricanes footage. I still will be posting Miami content on my main NMD TV page, but in case anything happens with that, I always want to have this channel as a backup. So all I ask is please just subscribe to this. I will be putting content out on this, on this page, not as much as the regular NMD TV, but make sure you subscribe. I'll be putting some special stuff on here. Right now, guys, this video that you're about to watch is a quick look film look at Gilbert Frierson that I made for the Patreon page. Uh, this was made about a month or so ago, so it's not as up to date. So if I say something in there crazy, don't be talking about NMD TV, don't know what he's talking about. This this was made a while ago for the Patreon members. If you want to join the Patreon page, the link is in the description. I'd love to have you. But make sure you subscribe because YouTube is tripping and they ain't going to catch me slipping. Okay, they tripping and they ain't gonna catch me slipping. Subscribe to the NMD TV All Canes page right now. Enjoy the video on Gilbert Fireson. Peace. What's up, guys? Uh, quick look. We're gonna uh, do a quick look at a guy that I'm pretty excited about this season. And uh, it's Gilbert Fireson, striker for the Miami Hurricanes. Gilbert Fireson was a corner, he was recruited to play corner, but in the offseason, they turned him into a striker. And I think this position fits him very well so like i said this is going to be quick look so we're going to go right into uh some things that i like about gilbert and some things that i want to see him improve on but he played against florida romeo finley's backup so let's get right into this play gilbert firson used to be a cornerback they recently turned him into a striker and you know that striker is a corner linebacker hybrid and what you're going to see here is Gilbert is lined up in that striker position, and he basically has edge responsibility. When you're a football player, the best thing, in my opinion, is when you can react and not think. And that's exactly what he does on this play. Taking on a blocker, the blocker, the one of the pluses of having a striker is he should be uh, – faster than an oncoming uh, tight end or a pulling guard of that nature. So she should be able to do things like what Gilbert's doing, evade the blocker and get in the backfield and make the tackle. And let me tell you, this is a great tackle because anybody who watched this game saw how rare a good tackle was. So not only does he make this tackle, but he gets the tackle in the backfield. As you can see, the, the tight end can't even touch him because he reacts instead of thinking and he's so agile at that striker position that he can go off and make that play. Okay, so lined up over receiver here. This is where he has to be a corner now. You know, he, he he's a little bit of a both uh, here in that striker position. So you just see his quick reaction here. Just seize the ball, react, uh, great job. Not panicking. I see so many times when, especially when a receiver's running a quick slant, a person in this position, especially covering the slot, will either tackle the receiver who, who we saw this in the game when Florida did it, uh, Marco Wilson did it to one to one of the receivers from Miami, or he waits him, catch, he catches it, then tries to make the tackle. Gilbert reacts again, his reaction time reacts, knocks the ball down, makes a play, and a good job, man. All right, so this is where Felipe gets him, you know, um, twenty to seventeen late in the game, and he's lined up. Over a faster receiver. It's hard to see the exact release. But Gilbert is with them. And it later came out that Gilbert was supposed to be playing the trail position. That's why that's why he's playing under. Amari was supposed to be over the top. You see Amari in the bottom of your screen right here. Zoom in there. Amari right there coming over a little bit late, and they got him. Now, obviously, this is it is easier to say now when you're watching the footage, but right here, Gilbert 
Uh, he should have just tackled him. Tackled him, take the 15-yard penalty, and uh, it wouldn't be this big of a play, but miss, miss coverage over the top by Amari Carter. And it's a, it's a missed opportunity right there, man. A tough play. So this is just a quick look. Like I said, this doesn't mean that Gilbert Frierson is the best player in the world or he had the best game. It's just a couple plays that I saw flash and that I really liked about a young player like this. You know, Romeo Finley is our is Miami's starting striker, and he's going to be there for a while. But it's good that I think that we really can trust Gilbert Frierson. I think he can be the future of that position. He's going to have to be able to not just run around tackles, to be able to take on tackles, shuck, um, throw them away, and go and make the tackles. 6'1", 200 pounds. I think he's still got a little bit of groin to do, but this is a player who um, I've watched him ever since high school, you know, uh, four-star prospect by ESPN.com, 21st uh, player at the position, at the cornerback position. So highly tied out of high school. So he, he – Red shirt freshman still got a couple years, but I just wanted to do a quick look. A lot of film breakdowns and more coming for you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for supporting me.